Apart from the controversial Logitech shifter, this right here is the cheapest H-pattern simracing shifter you can buy on Amazon. Hell yes! <laughs> it was kindly sent over to me by the seller, and in today's review, I'll be telling you all what I like and dislike about this affordable H-pattern shifter. Before we get started, note that I'm giving away a Moza Racing CS wheel rim to a lucky winner anywhere in the world. Subscribe, like the video, comment if you want, and click the link at the top of the video description for a chance to enter. A lucky winner will be selected at the end of August, and many more giveaways are coming soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. At its current $89 price point, this sim racing shifter is definitely an appealing product for those shopping on Amazon. As opposed to the Logitech one which is about $20 cheaper, this one can be used with any combination of wheels and pedals since it plugs in via USB to your PC and not to any specific wheelbase. Keep in mind it will only work on PC. Built with an aluminum casing and stainless steel gear lever, it certainly looks like a solid bit of gear. That being said, it comes with a plastic shifter knob which doesn't look as good and takes away from the premium feel of everything else. The good news is that it can be easily replaced by an aftermarket knob which won't cost more than a few bucks. In my opinion, the images online don't give the look of the shifter enough justice. While it is relatively simple in design, it looks sleek, of good size, and blends in well with the rest of my gear. It certainly doesn't look like a cheap toy tacked in with everything else. Using a dedicated cockpit, mounting is as simple as can be as just a few bolts was all I needed to lock it in place. If you plan on using this on a desk, I believe a version with a table clamp is available for a little more. This H-pattern shifter is extremely simple in design and operation. A set of spring-loaded ball bearings for red resistance as you pull in and out of gear, and the micro switches at the end of each gate register input back into the game. Again, it's relatively simple to keep costs down, though I do wonder how it will hold up over long-term wear and tear. game, this shifter is quite impressive, especially when considering its price point. There is a solid and certainly noticeable resistance when switching gears, far more than in both Logitech and Thrustmasters, which gives it a tactile feeling. There is also a weighted and short throw between each gear, which paired with the loud clunk makes it very satisfying to throw around. The main drawback here is probably the noise as the stainless steel gear lever smacks against the top plate. This also raises some concern regarding the long-term rigidity of the top plate as a metal lever is constantly hitting against it. It's important to note that the metallic build of this shifter provided zero flex despite how hard I was trying to break it, giving me a lot of confidence on track. And to my surprise, I found misshifts to be an uncommon occurrence. Not only does the top plate guide you into gear, but the weighted feel and strong resistance made me more conscious and aware of exactly where I was guiding my shifts. In all honesty, I wouldn't say this H-Pattern shifter feels like one in a real car, but it certainly has a noticeable action and satisfying thump which gives you that added realism when in game. While my main concern regarding the shifter is its long-term durability, considering the price, the competition in this segment, and the ease of access as you can just buy it off Amazon, I think this is a very solid choice for budget-conscious sim racers looking for that manual experience, and it honestly has left me quite wow. impressed. Remember to enter the giveaway for a chance to win a Moza Racing CS wheel rim, and with all that being said, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.